Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as I'm sure you can probably tell by the title, we are going to be duping some high-end decor. Different items that I felt like that I could probably get the same look for a much, 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 in some cases, lower price. So we're gonna be doing some thrifting and a few smaller, simple projects that anybody can do. Before we get into our projects, I wanna talk about some of the materials that we're gonna use, which are from today's sponsor, Timu. So Timu is an online marketplace and they are the number one free app on App Store. And starting in September, they are going to be having their one year anniversary sale. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and download the app now to get ready for it. There will be tons of items marked down to only one dollar they are having influencers make picks of their top products so if you click my link down in the description it will bring you to my picks from timu's website okay so let me show you with some of the things that i found i'll start with pillow covers i love to switch those out a lot i got this one this one was under five dollars this one was under four dollars but probably my favorite is this linen looking pillow cover it's really good quality and this one was under 10. i have been using this like crazy since it came in and this one was under 13 dollars i also grabbed these jars that i can put my like shampoo and conditioner they come with the labels so you can put them on and i'm gonna be using them in my bathroom and these glass oil dispensers that I want to use in the kitchen. These are super good quality. They also come with labels and a little funnel. Grab this little hanging basket. And I thought this would be cute in my guest bedroom with maybe a couple towels in it. Tissue cover. It's really cute. It Velcro's on the bottom. And it's just a stylish way to display something that we use all the time. These are battery operated candles but I love them because they come with a remote and you can set them on a timer. And you can also set them to flicker like real candles. Another kitchen item is this cookbook stand. It breaks apart so it's easily stored and it was very inexpensive. I got four of these and I think they'll look really nice in a jar. And I don't know if you can tell, but the stem is like really really good quality. A lot of times they're really, really fake looking, but this one is not. When I saw this neutral colored blanket, I had to have it. It's super soft and very, very well priced. I also grabbed this little candle snuffer. These are really nice to set on top of some books or something on a coffee table and less than $4. I love decorative pieces like this. And this one was pretty inexpensive and I'm going to be using it in a dupe later. So I also got these canvases. These were so inexpensive. They had a package, like a bunch of different landscapes. I really think that those will be nice in some frames for hardly any money. So if you guys wanna check out Timu, make sure that you click the link down in the description and use my code DKD5223, and that will also unlock a $100 coupon bundle that you can use as well. And this is for all users, not just new users to the app. Okay, let's talk about how we're gonna get the high-end look for a much lower price point. And I wanna break this down into categories. And the first thing that I wanna talk about is art, which can be very expensive and also very subjective to your own taste. I like to customize everything really as much as I can and art definitely. And there are really easy ways to do that. So here are some examples of some higher end pieces that I would never pay that much money for. You can also find pieces for less expensive like this from Studio McGee, but the best way to do it, I think, is to check your local thrift stores. I'm always looking for frames that I think are interesting or can be made over. So what I like to do is a few different techniques. 
Here I'm using an antiquing wax from Walmart. I'll link it down below and then wiping it off. I also like to go in with Rub and Buff. They have different colors. I like gold leaf and antique gold and I will layer the two colors to kind of get a little bit more dimension in the frames. And then I'm taking those Timu canvases and I'm just cutting them to size and that gives me art that looks similar to the higher end pieces and gives me a really good start to a gallery wall if I wanna include these somewhere in my home and it's a much better price than the higher end ones. Next category is decorative objects. And this one is kind of a catch-all. I'm just gonna kind of throw everything in there together. And that is stuff like candle holders and little things that you would put up on your bookshelf. Those a lot of times can be easily DIY'd or you can find them in thrift stores. I definitely like to check this section whenever I'm out thrifting. You never know what you're gonna find. There are so many unique pieces and don't judge it by what it looks like in the store because you can always take it home and kind of change it to be more of your style. I saw these antlers in the store and I thought those were kind of cool. What can I do with those? So I did a quick Google search of antlers and home decor and I found these on the Pottery Barn website for way, way, way more money than I would ever spend on them. But they had some cool ideas that they had used them in different places in the homes. So I picked those up and brought them home with me, but they had been painted kind of like a stark white and that's not what I wanted. So I cut the tag off and I was originally gonna go in with that antiquing wax, but I didn't really like the look that it was giving. So I just completely scrapped that idea and just grabbed some acrylic paint that I had at home. I think this is in the color linen and just gave that a quick light coat over the top of that bright white. And it made it look a lot more natural that I think will fit in with my decor a lot better. And this is how I styled them. Another random find were these candle pears. I thought they were really cute. I got mine for a dollar a piece, so I thought that was a really good deal. And another Google search later, I realized how expensive they can be, and I just created this little centerpiece with them in a bread bowl and some moss, very simple and stylish. You can find these brass candle snuffers on a lot of higher-end decor websites, but I wanted to recreate the same look with this candle snuffer from Timu, but I wanted to give it a little bit more of an aged brass finish. So I'm taking this rub and buff and I'm literally just dabbing it on there. It is the easiest DIY ever, and this is how it turned out. I love using decorative items like this, but I think $200 is a bit ridiculous. So I knew I could recreate it with that Timu item from earlier. I liked the texture in the inspiration pictures. So I just mixed Sherwin-Williams iron ore paint because I already had it. It's like a soft black with some baking soda. And I am just painting and stippling over this entire piece the stippling is what gives it the texture. Put it out in the sun to dry. And I think it is a really great dupe for the ones I showed you earlier at a much, much better price. You have probably been seeing these aged vessels all over the place and they can be very expensive. This was a project I did a while back. I found this vessel at Goodwill and I just gave it a coat of white paint and I wanted to distress it by adding some mud to it and it just gave it kind of like an older type look. And then later I decided that I wanted to go dark with it. So I ended up painting it black, mixing some baking soda with paint. And then I used some mud and just rubbed it on there to add some variation, added the Timo stems, and this is how it turned out. The next category I am such a sucker for, probably more than anything, and that is pillows and blankets. I don't think you can ever have too many they really soften a space and make everything cozy and there are lots of ways that you can save money by switching things out instead of purchasing new pillows all the time because those can get pretty expensive to do that 
I always like to check the fabric section at the thrift store and the pillows because if they have a removable cover, they can be washed. But I saw this pillow and it was giving me strong amber interior vibes. So I went on her website and sure enough, I found one that was pretty similar that I really liked. So I picked that one up and it came home with me for a much better price than the other one that I just saw. And then at another store, I saw this velvet pillow and I really liked it. It was only $7 and it reminded me of this one from our house, which is much, much more expensive than that. So I grabbed that one and cleaned both of them up and added them to the couch in the living room. The next category is glassware. I don't know if you guys have been to a thrift store lately, but they're like basically half glassware and dishes, it seems like, and clothes. So if you're looking for something specific, just be patient and you will probably end up finding it at a thrift store. So my daughter loves to bake cakes. So every time that I go to a thrift store, I check the glassware section for a cake stand with a lid. And these aren't typically crazy expensive, but getting them at a thrift store is a whole lot less expensive than buying them brand new. So I grabbed this one and took it home with me because I was so excited to finally have found one and just gave it a really good washing. And now I will have a cake stand with a lid for her creations ready to go. Another category that you can get the high-end look for a lower budget on is furniture. Thrift stores, Facebook Marketplace, they are all full of furniture that can either be used exactly as is or can be changed, painted, stained, whatever, to be more of your style and the look that you're going for. I like to make sure that I keep an eye out for not only furniture at the thrift store as a whole, but also parts of the furniture that I could probably use for a later project. When I was checking the furniture in the thrift store, I got really excited because I saw this table, specifically the legs I was excited about because I have had my eye on this table to use in my living room, but I do not want to pay that price. So I'm picking up this table for only $10 to use the legs for a future project. Another category that you can definitely get the look for less is books. I have a thrift store close to me that is my favorite to get books from. On the day I was here, the books were $1.89 and then they were having a 60% off sale, making all of the hardback books 75 cents. So when you're looking at books, make sure that you take off the book jacket because they might have a really pretty fabric cover underneath or something interesting like this book that will give you that look that you're going for at a much better price than if you were to buy these books brand new. And this one gets a whole category to itself and that is lamps. And that's because I don't know that I have ever paid full price for a lamp because there are so many options out there at thrift stores and on Facebook Marketplace that are selling them for very, very inexpensive prices that you can customize to your taste. You can switch out the shade for a completely different look. And I love doing that. Thrift stores usually have tons of options for lamps and shades. And I was really excited when I saw this one because it reminded me of this higher end lamp that I really liked. And this was the same thrift store that was 60% off making this lamp only $4. So I brought it home with me and my son broke it, getting it out of my car. But that was okay, because I found another lamp that I liked just as much. And I really wanted to try to mimic the style of these two lamps, the texture and the colors. And so I mixed some paint together with some baking soda and just started layering it onto the lamp. The lamp already had a lot of texture, but I just was stippling it on to give it even more. And then I put it outside to dry for a while, which in this Texas heat took like two minutes. So I added some white paint to just have the same tone, but be a little bit lighter and then stippled that on top of the original color. But I realized that it was looking a lot more gray than my inspiration pictures. So I went on top with 
that antique wax, just dry brushing and stippling that on until I got the look that I wanted. I did end up adding a tiny bit of white as well, and this is how it turned out. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys maybe got some inspiration to get creative in your homes and maybe go thrifting or look online or reuse what you already have to get the higher end look maybe that you're liking without the higher end price. So let me know down in the comments which project, which item maybe was your favorite. Do you have plans to do any projects like this in your home and I will see you guys next week for a new video. Bye!